In 1987, a young 17-year-old captivated the world with a pop ballad that would become a landmark in music history. His name was Glenn Medeiros, and with his smooth and captivating voice, he topped the charts with the song Nothing's Gonna Change My Love For You. Nothing's gonna change my love for you You wanna know my now, mama Originally recorded in 1984 by George Benson, this song remained in the shadows until Glenn's version emerged. Born in Hawaii in 1970, Glenn Medeiros embarked on his musical journey at a young age, captivating audiences with his performances at school, church, and even on his father's tourist bus. At the age of 16, he won a talent show in a local radio station's talent contest where he sang a cover of Nothing's Gonna Change My Love For You. This victory granted him the opportunity to record the song in a professional studio, but little did he know that the fate had more in store for him. A chance encounter led to a radio executive named Guy Zipolian from Arizona stumbling upon Glenn's music. Impressed by his sound, Zipolian played it on his station, where it became a national success. The impact was profound as the song soared to the top of the UK charts, secured a remarkable position at number 12 on the Billboard Hot 100, and dominated music charts in over 20 countries. Overnight, Glenn was the center of attention, and his subsequent years were filled with the exhilaration of global tours, the release of new albums, and captivating collaborations with renowned music icons. In 1989, he recorded a duet with French singer Elsa Langini, titled A Romo d'Amitié, which resonated with audiences in France. That same year, Glenn did a collaboration with the Jets on the song Under Any Moon. This song was included on the soundtrack of the movie Karate Kid 3. Building on the success, Glenn's artistic journey took another triumphant turn in 1990, when he partnered with the rapper Bobby Brown for the hit track She Ain't Worth It, which reached the number one spot on the prestigious Billboard Hot 100 in the United States. Encouraged by his record label, Glenn embraced the opportunity to explore diverse musical styles, courageously ventured beyond the boundaries of his comfort zone. Glenn continued to captivate audiences worldwide, embarking on exhilarating performances and sharing stages with steamed figures like German singer Thomas Anders from the band Modern Talking. Together, they delivered a memorable duet titled Standing Alone. Even at the height of his musical career, Glenn sensed the volatile nature of the industry and the mounting pressure to create music that didn't truly resonate with his soul. Ultimately, he made the bold decision to step away from the frantic pace of his performances. In 1994, after enduring tumultuous years, the 24-year-old singer chose to return to his beloved home in Hawaii, driven by his enduring dream of becoming a teacher. The famous song Nothing's Gonna Change My Love For You was a massive success, turning Glenn into a teenage idol as he sang about innocent youthful love. However, he discovered the dark truth behind the scenes of the music industry, where other pop stars traded sex for fame. In an interview on the podcast Celebrity Catch-Up, Life After That Thing I Did, he said, Unfortunately, most of the females and some of the males I met it literally took them having to have relationships with others to be able to get to the top. I'd even talk to the artists about it and they'd say, hey, you know what, I've got to do what I have to do. For me, I never took that approach, I had a choice. 
Glenn even mentioned in another interview on the Genevieve Hastings podcast in 2020, an occasion at home of a famous songwriter where it became clear what was expected of him. He was just 18 years old at the time. He said the songwriter showed him several gold records on the wall and said he could become a bigger star than other artists. Glenn recounted that at a certain point, the man changed into a bathrobe knowing what would come next. He made an excuse to get away from there. The singer was also shocked by the influence of the mafia that financed artists, and he mentioned that the music industry was full of drugs and many people avoided talking about it, but it was a reality. Recently, Glenn wrote about his experiences in the music industry. He said, For me, among all these things, the drugs, the exploitation of artists and the sexual relationships that were happening, that's what I saw in the music industry. Back in Hawaii, inspired by the way his teachers nurtured his passion and musical talent when he was still a shy boy, the singer decided to make a difference in his community. Although he didn't completely abandon the spotlight to help pay the bills and get back to performing, he became the main attraction at local shows. However, the dream of a career in education was his goal. While pursuing his postgraduate studies, Glenn found fulfilling work as a teacher, instructing not only music and singing, but also special subjects for students across the island. Today, at 53 years old, married since 1996, and with two children, he is the principal of St. Louis School, a Catholic all-boys school located in the city of Honolulu, Oahu. In May 2014, he earned a doctorate in education from the University of Southern California. Thus, Glenn Medeir's story, the young talent who conquered the world with his voice, is a reminder that success is not always measured by chart-topping records. His life journey exemplifies the importance of finding one's true purpose and leaving a legacy beyond fleeting fame. If you enjoyed today's content, don't forget to give a thumbs up and a comment. Check out the channel for more videos like this one about other celebrities. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.